The battle for Middle Earth begins. 60 Hog Riders, 60 Wizards. Which troop will triumph over the other? Stay tuned to find out, guys, on what happens next. What's up guys, General Tony here coming back with today's 30k subscriber giveaway and we have many things in store for you in today's episode guys. We have got level 4 hogs so we are going to be doing 60 hogs v 60 wizards, 3 different races so stay tuned for them. On top of that we are going to be doing the 10 gift card giveaway nearing the end of the video guys so stay tuned for that to see if you've won. And on top of that we are going to be giving away an extra gift card guys within the actual video. I'm going to be telling you the code in separate sections throughout the video so whoever gets this code code whoever watches the video in full length is going to have a chance to win this code guys whoever gets it comment down below and let me know how much you actually won so the first four letters of the code which i'm going to say right now are as follows x g m v so that's x g m v the rest of the code will follow throughout the video guys so stay tuned so as I said guys, we managed to upgrade our hogs to level 4. They are currently going to level 5. So we're going to have some max level hogs in a couple of days. So we are going to be doing 60 hogs against 60 wizards in 3 different raids. Each raid is going to be completely different. So let's waste no further time and go straight into raid number 1. So this is the base we're attacking guys. Now bear in mind, I've never really used hogs before. And these are level 4 so I'm not quite sure what I'm expecting. So we have sent in that first hog just to test if that was a big bomb or a Tesla. It turned out to be a Tesla. Now I'm not going to spam in my hogs like most people do. I know that strategically placing them is probably going to be a bit better. So we're using the king and the queen and those archers as a shield. And then the hogs are coming in from a few different directions. We're going to be able to take out quite a few buildings at the same time. Don't forget guys, we have 42 of these hogs coming in right now. So there they all go now we've got a jump spell in for the king to make his way into the center of the base the first hill has been placed down we got a couple of packs spaced around the outer sections of the base guys a couple of packs of hogs they are now making their way into the center taking out the tesla's wizard towers archer towers everything seems to be going down and believe it or not without even realizing it i was already three quarters way through the base this was extremely easy of course it was a very very unmaxed town hall nine pretty rushed to be honest and I didn't even need to use all my heal spells. So that is the first raid down and over already, guys. The king's managed to clean up the town hall. The queen is veering her way around the, uh, the outside of the base. The hogs, there is a pack of these bad boys making their way across the center, taking some of that dark licks of the gold, moving on to the hero stand, cleaning up the rest of the base. 20 seconds left in the raid, and that is pretty much it over. Three stars in the bag. These level four hogs seem to have done a serious amount of damage. I do know that people have told me that level 4 and 5 hogs are way, way stronger than level 3 and below. So, of course, we are going to be getting level 5 hogs soon. So, when we do get them, we will be testing them in war. So, stay tuned and subscribe for that if you want to see that very soon, guys. There we go. The raid is over. We managed 189,000 gold, 284,000 elixir, and, of course, almost 1,000 DE. Three stars later. So, raid number one was 42 hogs. Raid number two, it's going to have to be the same. 42 wizards, king and queen. Spells are slightly different. So, we got heal, two rages instead of three heals, deciding to use rages for the wizards instead of heals, as they do some serious power surges with the rage spells. We got the jump spell there for the heroes as well. 16 wall breakers, of course, and 20 archers. So, let's see what we're going to be able to do. Now, they do have a clan castle in the center. We can test for that. Nothing seems to have come out. They had a little pothole there. Maybe we should have spawned all of the wizards in the center rather than the out section of the base but I, de I decided not to I'm not quite sure why so we've got the 20 archers as well just to kind of clean up and some of those wall breakers but this base is pretty broken down already I mean this way this it's kind of like a weird base design and all of the structures are spaced out quite evenly now there's not really any mass damage that's going to be done apart from the wizard towers and the mortars of course but we're going to use the king and the queen as kind of like a tank meat shield for the wizards and there we go. So we got 42 of them. Don't forget, we've sent in 20 so far. In go some wall breakers to make sure we can get into each and every one of these little separate sections. There are one, two, three, four, five separate sections around the base. Of course, the core itself is wide open. So we're going to use our jump spell there to make our way into the core. We've got two rages and a hill. Don't forget, the hill spell and a raid spell have been placed down. Hopefully, the Harrys go into it. There we go. There we go. So they're into the center of the base. Now, the center should drop pretty quick. The king's in the hill. So he's not quite going down, but he's going down ever so slightly. But we have a low of harry's in there now wall breakers are coming in there, but they're pretty much deemed worthless there's nothing really around them harry's are going in for the cleanup i'm not sure if this is looking like a three star but we have managed to clean up quite a large amount of the loot so far already guys that rage spell was kind of wasted as nothing was really there 
Don't forget, hogs have a lot more health than these wizards, guys. So, really, you do need some sort of tank, like a golem or something for the wizards. But we didn't have enough troop spaces. Well, we actually did. We maybe should, we maybe we should have used our, a golem instead, instead of using all those wall breakers and those archers. But it doesn't matter. This is pretty much the raid coming to an end. Although we got all the loot, we didn't really manage to get the three star. Although, I would say they've done some serious power surges throughout this entire base and managed to pretty much rip it apart. So there we go guys, that is the rate over, we're going to speed it up now the last final few seconds whilst those final few archers get picked off, 86%, all in all it wasn't too bad but it did cost us a hell of a lot of dark elixir, sorry, hell of a lot of elixir, not dark elixir, but we still managed to get over 500,000 loot and a small amount of DE as well. So guys, I gave you the first four letters of the code, here come the second bunch of four letters, they're going to be WX52. So we are going to go in for one final raid, and as we go in for that raid, it is going to be the ultimate battle that there is. 18 of these little hogs. We've got 18 wizards sitting on the bay as well. We've got a couple of giants. We've got one single golem, guys. This is going to be a strange one. Inside of the uh, the uh, spell factory, we've got two hill spells, which are both for the hogs. We've got a jump and a rage, which we're going to use and incorporate with the wizards. Now, one hero is going to go with the wizards. One hero is going to go with the hogs. The way I've kind of figured it out is as follows. The hogs don't have the ability to shoot so we're going to send the queen with the hogs and the the uh, the giants with the hogs and we're going to use the golem with the wizards and the king with the wizards because the wizards can shoot over walls so i thought that would work out pretty well of course we've got a couple of wall breakers with the wizards to kind of make it a little bit even but without a doubt that are going to be 60 wizards overall in this video against 60 hogs so we're going to see which troop really is the most powerful Oh, 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 so we've landed on this Town Hall 8 base. Now, there is quite a large amount of loot here. 500k plus loot available, plus almost 2k DE. Now, we're deciding to go for a Town Hall 8 because a Town Hall 9 base with Expos could do some serious damage to my troops, considering they're going to be both spawned on different sections of the base. So, one side is going to be taken by the Hogs and the other side, the Wizard. So, what we're going to do is, as I said, the Golem is going with the Wizzies and the Giants are going with the Hogs. We're going to send in the Golem's area first, the Wizards first. We're going to attack from this side of the base and then the hogs are going to come from the top I believe or maybe we'll switch it the other way around first thing we're going to do though is test for this clan castle here now oh, we haven't really we're going to have to use a hog sorry mate but you is going in you are going in boy all right they have no clan castle which is great there goes a little bomb as well so not too bad now we have to see if there's any big bombs there are going to be big bombs so we're changing it up actually we're going to go from this side with the giants uh, with the golem and the wizards and we're going to go this side with the hogs because it's kind of more compact and doesn't seem like there's much there. So here we go. We're going to go Golem. We're just going to chuck all of these wizards in at the same time. With the wizards is going to come the king as well. We're going to use four of those wall breakers. And then that is it. We're going to have to use the four golems here. The four giants, sorry. Queen is going in. And then two packs of hogs. There we go. We're going to use a heal spell straight away. Kind of in there. We're going to use a rage spell and the jump spell there. Come on, come on. Make your way into the base. We're going to have to rage up the king already. This isn't looking too good. It's not looking too good. Where are we? Where are we at? Not too bad, actually, but those those hogs there are getting picked off by those little uh, little larrys. Come on. No! What a waste of a hill spell. How many hogs have we got left? One little puny hog left. We've got a few more over here in this pack, though. That's not going too bad, to be honest. How has that giant survived? How has he survived? There goes the queen taking out those little shitty larrys who just basically ripped apart all my hogs. Whoa, we still got a couple of hogs left, though. Fantastic. There are not many defensives left. I think those are the final three, I believe. And that should be the raid in a bag, guys. What a successful raid it was. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. We've still got the golem alive. How much health has he got? Not too much. So he's done a decent job tanking for us. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get the three star here, let alone the loot. Please say we get that uh, that Dark Elixir though. Come on, King. Take out the Town Hall and move on to the Dark Elixir. All right, the Golems have now become Golemites. The Queen's taken out the Clan Castle. Hopefully, she veers off towards the right, towards that Tesla, so she can take the cannon out while she's there. Nope, she's not. She's an absolute biatch. Hopefully, we can get the loot though. If we get the loot, it's not all too bad. We've still got that Elixir storage up there. Come on, what's happened? Come on, King. Stick it out, stick it out. Guys, the next four letters of the code are coming up, and it's going to be 57JC. So four more letters to go. So the queen is now moving on to the cannon, and there we go. The three-star is looking a little bit more promising. Very, very short amount of time to clean up now, though. Army camp's gone down. The queen's working on the wall. We're going to have to use her ability. There's not much loot left, to be honest, but there is 
quite, nah, there's still over 150,000, so not too, too little. We've still got that Dark Elixir and those, those little drills there as well. Overall, I don't think it was a very successful raid, and if I'm honest, the hogs actually outperformed the wizards, two to one at least. There were at least three or four hogs left when all those wizards passed out. Maybe they died due to big bombs though, but there doesn't seem to be any big bomb placements around there. I'm not really sure where they were all placed. Maybe we got wiped out by big bombs, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the golems actually went. I wasn't really able to watch the raid that well. But there we go guys, the raid is over, 1400 of the uh, total 8 1800 Dark Elixir, not too bad, almost 450,000 loot as well. So the final four letters of the gift card code are WFNK, so that is all 16 letters, go and enter that as soon as possible guys, whoever gets it, gets it, it's going to be completely random and go to any single one of you. So now I've given away the first random gift card of the video guys, we are giving away 10 more right now, so I'm going to list 10 names. All 10 of these names will also be written down below, so if you're one of these, just get into contact with me, drop me a message, and I will get you your code within 24 to 48 hours. So the first one goes to Simples101, second goes to Coin, third goes to Origin, fourth one goes to Sean Fat Kid, fifth one goes to Console Gamer, sixth goes to Ripper82, seventh goes to Dark Pudding, eighth goes to Therapy Noob, Ninth goes to Balm, and the 10th and final code goes to Berrynator98. So that's all 10 of you. I will comment your names down below, guys. So if you're one of those 10, simply drop me a message. What code do you want? Do you want Android, OS, etc.? And I will get you it as soon as possible. All I want to say, guys, is honest to God, thank you so much for all the support you provide to this channel. I see constant messages from the same people day in and day out who... Honestly, I don't know why, just continuously come and watch my videos, commenting, liking, sharing and doing all that good stuff, helping me to grow and just supporting my videos in general. At 50,000 subscribers, I will be giving away something a lot more special than just some gift cards, so stay tuned and subscribe for that if you want to be a part of it. As ever guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I can't say it enough and supporting this channel. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you're enjoying the content. If you have any suggestions for what you want to see, just comment it down below and I will try and get it done. I know a lot of you want Tunnel 7, Tunnel 8, Tunnel 9 base builds, troll bases, all that sort of stuff. I will get it done. Just give me a little bit of time. I love you all guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out.